Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to go over how you can calculate the real world range that you've been getting with your Tesla vehicle over the entire course of your driving history with it. So to do this, we're going to open up our menu by clicking on the little icon of the car here in the bottom left hand corner. And in our menu, we want to go down and click on where it says trips. And for my Tesla vehicle, I've driven 7,546 miles. I can see how much energy I've used and my watt hours per mile. So this is the first piece of data that we need. So I have 276 watt hours per mile. So now I need to convert that 276 watt hours per mile into how many miles I'm getting per kilowatt hour. So to do this, it's really simple. You just do 1000 divided by how many watt hours per mile that you're getting. So for me, throughout the history of my car, it's 276 watt hours per mile. And this is going to give me how many miles my car is traveling per kilowatt hour of battery usage. Now, the last thing I need to figure out is how many kilowatt hours the battery size of my Tesla Model Y is. I came across this helpful resource. I'll link this web page down in the video description if you'd like to check it out for yourself. But it lists all these different EVs and how many kilowatt hours the battery is in those vehicles. So I'm going to search for my Tesla Model Y. And I can find my particular Tesla Model Y. It's the one with a Panasonic battery, so it is 82 kilowatt hours. You could also do a Google search of your particular Tesla vehicle and asking what the battery size is of your vehicle, and it should come up with something that's relatively accurate. But I like this particular resource. Again, there'll be a link down in the description. So now that I have the 82 kilowatt hours, all I need to do is multiply that by how many miles I'm getting per kilowatt hour. So this number times 82. And this leaves me with 297.1 miles that I would get on a 100% charge for the battery size of my Tesla vehicle. And this is the real world range that I have been getting at least up to this point throughout the life of my Tesla that I bought a year ago. I'm really interested in what type of Tesla vehicles you guys are driving. What is your watt hours per mile? And then also what's the real world range that you've been getting with your Tesla throughout its lifespan? I'm wondering if mine is on the higher or low end or around average. I would guess that mine is maybe a little bit on the lower end because I live in a northern climate, which means winter driving is going to hurt this number a little bit. I would say probably at least half, if not more, of my driving is done on the highway at higher speeds, which is also going to reduce my average mileage. But again, if you go through these calculations with your Tesla vehicle, I'd really be interested to see what you're getting if you could post those down in the comment section. One note I'd like to add here at the end of the video is you can also make this calculation for the usable battery of your Tesla vehicle. And I'll explain what this is, but first clicking on the usable battery option and then again, finding my Tesla Model Y. And I can see for the Tesla Model Y long range Panasonic battery that I have 75 kilowatt hours of usable battery. So what this is, if you charged your vehicle all the way to 100%, and took it all the way down to 0%. This is the amount of kilowatt hours that you would use. If you went beyond 0%, you would still have seven kilowatt hours of battery left to get to a charging location. So the difference between the gross battery and the usable battery is seven kilowatt hours for my Tesla Model Y long range with the Panasonic battery. So the 82 kilowatt hours are still technically usable if you go past 0% charge left, but the quote unquote usable portion of the battery from zero to 100% is 75. So if I recalculate this, so I was 3.623 miles per kilowatt hour and then multiply that by 75 kilowatt hours, this brings me to 271.725 miles of real world range from zero to 100%. But again, like I said, technically you have access to the whole battery if you drive beyond it going to 0%. And in that case, you would still have 20 plus miles left to go once you reached that point. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll see you back here next time.